Alright, what's going on guys? Let's try back again here to bring another video. So this one's going to be uh, talking about uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, we're at a lull right now. We're at a break. We're halfway through the second season and uh, won't be coming back till February. So yet again, as an effort for me to try to do as many Walking Dead videos as I can, uh, I'm going to do a review, but I'm not going to do a review of a particular episode. If you want to see my individual episode reviews, those are in my channel. You can go check those out. This is going to be a review, a cumulative review of what we've seen so far from The Walking Dead. So from the first season, first episode, up to the second season, seventh episode, uh, pretty much dead already is what the seventh one's called. Um, this is going to be a cumulative review of everything and, you know, um, just talking about uh, the direction of the show and how I feel everything is going. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, we'll start from the first season. So, you know, right off the bat, it pretty much starts off just the same as the comic book. You've got Rick waking up with some subtle differences and things going on that he, you know, he, he goes to his house after he, um, or he's on his way there. He gets hit with a, with a shovel by um, uh, Morgan's son. And uh, because Morgan said thought he was a walker, and um, then they sort of introduce him. You know, you've got some, uh, you know, Morgan explains the situation and kind of gives you the backstory about what's going on. And, uh, you know, Rick kind of, you know, understands that and then pretty much sets off on his mission to find his family. So then we see him, you know, sort of on his own for a little while. We've got some really cool scenes with the little girl at the gas station, you know, um, and, and, you know, him having to shoot her with the with the bunny ears and all that stuff and then going through to the uh, the city with the uh, with the tank and a uh, great scene inside the city with tons of zombies everywhere um, you know sort of that awesome camera work where they kind of zoom up and out where you can see all the zombies from all around coming in and um, that's that was one of the coolest scenes that's something we haven't seen a lot of in the second season are shots like that where you get to see you know like tons of them around from that kind of an angle which was really neat to see inside of a city I'd like to see a little bit more of that kind of stuff in the newer episodes, but maybe because of budgetary reasons they can't do that. So that's understandable. I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter too, too much. But that was really nice to see that in the first season. Um, going on from there, we have uh, uh, my my favorite episode from the first season, which is uh, Guts. And that is basically where, you know, um, Glenn and Rick make their way into the um, the place where pretty much uh, all the rest of the, uh, the group that went into the city are. So you've got Andrea, you've got uh, Merle... You've got T-Dog, and uh, I think Daryl was there too. I don't remember exactly. Um, I'd have to watch it again. So, yeah, and then they, you know, pretty much uh, that incident goes down with Merle, and then they leave, and uh, they get away from the city while they're being, you know, chased by zombies. And uh, that's one of my favorite sequences of the entire show right there. It's just uh, an amazing, an amazing sequence in a, a nice way. They changed the story from the comic book to have them, you know, have to get out of the city instead of having to go back in. Um, moving on from there, I do have a criticism for the, the next couple episodes. Episode 3 is not too bad. You know, you get to see him finally meet up with Rick, finally meet his family, and, you know, meet the group and everything, and then it's, it's a character builder episode. So that's understandable. I mean, you have to have that in order for the rest of the show to make sense. So that's pretty well done there. But then the next episode, Vatos, is my least favorite episode of the whole series, um, or maybe second I don't like the way they go back into the city and there's like no zombies there pretty much. Uh, they waltz right in, go back to the building they were at before even though the place was you know, overrun by zombies uh, previously and maybe killed two or three but that's about it. And then walk, walk right in and then go to find Merle and then Merle's gone. Um, coming back though is pretty nice. We get to see the camp. camp gets attacked by a bunch of uh, zombies. We get to see everything that happens with that. That's pretty interesting, um, exciting, the end of that episode. Then moving on to the next episode, you have to deal with the aftermath of what happened with the characters that have died and, uh, you know, um, Jim with him being bitten and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool, too. And then moving on from there, we get to see the uh, TS-19 and the um, the center where uh, Dr. Jenner's at at the end of the first season. And then as the season finale, they kind of leave. So the first season as a whole I thought was really good. Uh, it was short but sweet. Um, it was exciting and interesting how they went a different route from the comic book. We got to see the uh, the uh, Center for Disease Control, which was cool, and what was going on there was sort of uh, with the doctor, and that was interesting. Um, you know, some, some cool little things there. One thing he whispers to Rick, we still don't really know what that was, um, at least not yet. Maybe it's sort of something that's just going to be forgotten at this point. Uh, I'm sort of thinking that might be the case. A lot of people were saying that he, he told them that his wife was pregnant, but we, you know, she already kind of told him that this season, and he says basically that uh, that he he knew or he he knows uh, that it, you know 
that she, her and Shane did whatever. So I'm not really sure if, if, if that's what Jenner told them and they just didn't really tie that together or, you know, um, I guess we'll see how that goes later on in the uh, the season. So uh, anyway, the first season as a whole is, is a really good season, I think. Um, they could have made it a little bit longer. Six episodes was a little short, but it was really good. Um, it had the uh, a little bit of a bigger budget than the second season, and the second season's 13 episodes. So maybe that's why they were able to use some of those shots in the city with all these, you know, tons and tons of zombies. Um, I love to see that, though. That was like movie quality almost, you know. Uh, actually, it was movie quality pretty much, uh, especially the first episode, the way it was shot, the colors and everything. The first episode of the first season was really nice. The second episode was great. Third episode was um, good character builder. Fourth episode, my, my least favorite. And then the fifth and the sixth, where they were inside the uh, CDC, it was, was pretty nice as well. So that's the first season. Going on to the second season. Um, the second season, we've only seen half of it so far, but the first half has been absolutely amazing. Um, Pretty Much Dead Already is my favorite episode of the entire series, and it's not just because it was the last episode we got to see. Uh, you know, you have the whole story arc with Sophia going missing after the first episode, and then, you know, it all coming full circle, and, and the, uh, you know, the genius writing of her just being in the barn the whole time, and, uh, you know, Shane kind of losing it, letting her out, and then her actually being there was really, really uh, interesting, interesting way to go, and um, one thing that a lot of us didn't expect, especially guys who read the comic book, because in the comic book, we've got 92 issues and Sophia's still alive. So the fact that they, they did that in the show really was a different direction to take, really was unexpected for anybody who knew it, uh, you know, knew the comic book, and it's definitely something that I think was uh, pretty special. Um, definitely probably the best writing of the entire show so far, I would have to say. Um, just that whole thing coming full circle and that arc coming to a close. Um, other standouts from, this, from the first season, of, of course, the first episode is something I could watch probably 30 times. I mean, you get to see the herd come in and, and them kind of hide, and then you've got Daryl who's kicking some ass, and then you know he kind of you know pulls a zombie over top of him and saves T Dog, and that was really really cool. Um, you get to see Andrea with the screwdriver kill. That was that was awesome. One of the best kills of the whole season or series. Um, you get to see Sophia run off, and then Rick with the rock kill. Um, of the two zombies, that was really cool. Um, so the first episode of the, of the second season was like really, really set the bar and kind of set the mood to this is what we can expect from the second season versus the first. And um, I was stoked, you know, after that episode, absolutely stoked. The second episode after that was a little slower, but it wasn't too bad. And then we got into the season and uh, save the last one, you know, um, Shane's episode where he shoots Otis in the leg. That was such a crazy twist and turn of the character um, and the way that they shot that and the way that rolled out that was that was definitely I think probably maybe I'd have to put that as my second favorite episode of the whole series going on from there we had a couple we had a chupacabra with uh, Daryl Daryl's episode that was good I had no problems with that that was exciting the part where Andrea shot and he thought he was dead that was very cool because I was like oh my I hope they don't kill Daryl man that would really suck and then they came back and you got to see no he's not you know he's not dead or anything you know he's he just you know grazed him that type of thing so that was that was very exciting um a couple little slow parts in between some of the episodes that not too much happened um there there did seem like there was a little bit of that but you know a lot of it was just character building and uh i think one episode we actually had only one zombie kill um the uh the swimmer zombie in the well that episode might be one of the weakest of the second season but other than that, everything else is really, really good. I like the direction they're taking now where we're getting to see some more character development and the characters really start to change. You know, you see Shane, you know, uh, just basically had enough, just decides, okay, you know, shoots shoots Otis pretty much in the leg and leaves him there. Um, and then we get to see Dale now who's kind of calling Shane out on it and being like, you know, I wasn't there, I don't know what you did. You know, I believe that you, you know, you shot Otis, that kind of stuff. And, and the way he pulls the gun on him in the last episode, I mean, you know, so so good uh such interesting story writing you know even while well, the first season they had to kind of set everything up we didn't know the characters yet so they had to introduce everything to us everything was new but in the second season they've really taken it to a step further i feel like they've you know moved moved it up and uh you know more zombie kills more action uh more suspense like in the first episode you know um 
a great story arc with the Sophia arc being closed just at the right time, just when people on my channel were talking like, you know, they got to wrap this thing up, they got to end this Sophia thing. Boom, they ended it right there, right then and there, right when, you, right when people were like, oh, come on, I'm starting to get tired of this. But, and they did it, nobody expected it that way. Uh, in my channel, I get a lot of people commenting. I get hundreds of comments all the time, every day. I usually read, I try to read most of them. Um, and nobody, I'm telling you, in the forums and in my channels, nobody called that. Not even one person. Not one person called that she was in the barn. Some people were saying, oh, there's some you know, photos online. She possibly could be a zombie, this kind of thing, that kind of thing. But nobody said um, beforehand that, oh, she's probably in the barn. Not even one person. Not even one person had that prediction, had that idea. So that, that really tells you right there, when they do something that unexpected, that's pretty special. So, I mean, going on from that, you know, the second season has been absolutely fantastic so far. I just can't wait for the, the next half of it to see how that all wraps up. Um, the first season was great. Definitely something that, uh, you know, I, I bought it on Blu-ray, and I don't even... I don't even buy movies or video, like, ever. Almost ever. I probably have less than, like, five or six, um, you know, movies on DVD. Because, you know, with computers these days, you can always... You know, watch everything online nowadays, pretty much. But that's something that I definitely wanted to get. Definitely, when season two, uh, you know, completes, I'll probably get that on Blu-ray too, just because you know I love to rewatch it. It's a show that has great rewatchability. You know, you can go back and watch it two, three times, and you're still going to enjoy it just as much. Um, you guys who have seen my Walking Dead um, TV show versus the comic book know that I actually like the TV show even more than the comic book because it took what the comic book was and it stepped it up to the next level to the point where it's like, you know, this is probably the best TV show I've ever seen, or definitely one of them. Uh, in my opinion, it, it is my favorite TV show I've ever seen. It is my favorite comic book as well. Um, but I, yeah, I, I definitely would, if I had to pick one out of the two, I would definitely go with the, the television show. It's just been so great. The writing has improved. It's given them a chance to look at the comic book and be like, okay, this is what Robert Kirkman did here. This is what he did there. But what if we alter it this way and we have them do things like this? And they changed things around, and they, they improve it, and they made it even better. Uh, even though it's kind of stayed down mostly the same path, with the exception of Shane still being alive and Sophia um, being killed already. Um, going on to the, uh, the next half of the second season, I expect to see probably about the same stuff we've been seeing so far. Uh, maybe with a couple slow episodes in between, maybe the next few episodes might be slow or a little bit slow. Mix it in with some action, mix it in with some exciting stuff and uh, carry it out and finish off an amazing season two. Um, I want to thank you guys all for watching my reviews. Uh, as far as the show goes, you know, overall, um, for the first couple seasons or season and a half, I would have to give it, um, I, I'll say a 9.5. I can't say the entire thing has been perfect because there have been slow, slow parts here and there um, that, you know, or little things I think maybe they could have done a little bit better. You know, like a good example is the well zombie, like lowering Glenn into the well and stuff like that. I was like, why would you do that? It's just stupid, you know, that, that type of stuff. So um, so it's not perfect, I'd say, but it's definitely one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. Hope you enjoyed the uh, thorough review, guys, of the first season and a half of The Walking Dead cumulative review. Um, please feel free to comment, as always. Like I said, I try to read most of your comments as long as it alerts me. If you guys don't know, YouTube doesn't always alert um, people who make the video about the comments. Sometimes you'll comment something, and it won't it won't send a message to um, the person who made it. it. This happens all the time. I mean all the time. So I try to check back and try to answer, you know, and try to talk to everybody. So please feel free to leave comments on what you thought of the first season and a half. And, um, uh, you know, sky's the limit from here. We'll see how it goes in the next couple of years. And uh, hopefully we know season three is confirmed. You, we, that should be awesome. Uh, hopefully this half of the season will be great. And, uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Travis Walking Dead Cumulative Review. Later. Peace.